Hey everybody, welcome back. Today I'm gonna to talk about local service ads for appliance repair businesses and similar businesses. Now, not every repair shop or repair company can do local service ads. It needs to be somewhat related to appliance repairs. So if your cell phone repair shop or your bicycle repair, whatever it is, uh, they're not currently allowing those yet. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about setting up Google local service ads, which gets great ROI. You only pay for lead generation with Google guaranteed ads. I'm gonna walk through the setup and build out and creation process of this and how you go about it. So if you haven't yet, make sure to hit subscribe or follow. Uh, if you're on YouTube, uh, hit that like and comment button if you have any questions and turn on that bell for post notifications uh, so you'll be notified whenever I come out with new videos. My name is Mac Frederick, founder and CEO of Momentum Digital and I used to work for Google and a lot of my videos I talk about digital marketing, SEO, and how to grow your business online. So thanks for watching and let's jump into the video. So I'll minimize myself here. So this is my friend's account, friend and client. Um, you see here, his business is house appliance repairs, so he does house appliance repairs. Go figure. Uh, pretty good, you know, stock WordPress website with a lot of different services, dishwasher, oven stove, fridge, dryer, uh, microwave, et cetera, et cetera. So we wanna be able to show up at the top of Google with local service ads, which I'll show what they look like. Um, they would show up like this. These are also called Google guaranteed ads. So like if you're a plumber, your ads will look like that. Um, a lawyer or attorney, your ads will look like that. Um, you pay for when somebody calls you and it becomes a lead or if they have like a, a message request that you're going back and forth and they book you. Uh, there's a lot you can do with these ads. It's not as difficult or detailed to manage as standard Google ads. So I'm gonna walk through the setup build out process of this. Uh, let's see if any ads show up. Like uh, home, oops, home appliance. Oh, sorry guys. Home appliance repair, Philadelphia. So if you do a search like this, these are Google guaranteed ads. Relief, appliance repair, steward home and commercial defender appliance. So they only pay if I do a direct lead or I call them, they're great for mobile search ads. People call and connect with you directly and you only pay then. Uh, and you can see how long the call was. You can even set up a certain level of call recording. These are standard Google ads and then the local smart ads would show up here and on Google Maps. Uh, so we want these ads. So how do we go about setting it up? Uh, you can actually view more appliance repair companies in Google Guaranteed by doing this specific search here. Uh, here are the guaranteed accounts and you click into them. It shows reviews, uh, services, hours, phone number, you know, details about the business, etc. So here are the next steps. Here's how we get started. I'm gonna go to local service ads, which they have an ad for local service ads. Way to go, Google. You need to be logged into your account. So I'm logged into his Gmail. So we're gonna sign in, hit that, um, or get started right here. Uh, so what you're gonna do, if you don't see, you know, a process already started, you're, either way, you're gonna, you know, start a local service ads account, which gives you a Google guaranteed badge to connect with customers, stand out on Google and it's only available for local, specific local service companies. Uh, so basically it's an application. Uh, there is a customer support line down here, available Monday through Friday, nine to six, and you can call them and they'll kind of help you with the process. So first you want to determine eligibility, choose your city, state, zip. Um, what is his zip? I think it's 004, 19129, I was off. <laughs> 19129. And this is where you choose the type of industry that you're in. So you can't really search it, but some of these are more difficult than others like garage doors and locksmiths. Um, not many repair services. I guess some of these things could be seen as repair, but what we want is appliance repair. So choose that, choose appliance repair if you're an appliance repair company. Next, we're going to fill out, uh, go through the sign up and profile process. So hit get started, business name, <clears throat> business phone number, house, apply, 
maintenance repairs. Just gonna make sure I have the right information. And you want this to match, you need to have a Google My Business account with reviews and verified on Google My Business as a local service business. So <clears throat> make sure you're using accurate information that coincides with that. Uh, for total number of field workers, unless you want to get a background check, because Google has to have you do an evident background check, hit zero if you only want to do it one time, probably for yourself as the background check. Year founded, say 2018, street address. Now, you, you actually need to have this. So, even if it's a service area business, you need to have an address, at least for like billing mailing purposes. Is this a location customers can visit? This is important. If you actually have customers that can come there with like a, a big appliance repair store as well, hit yes. If you do not have a store and it's a home office or a service area business, hit no. That's totally fine. Next, choose your service areas. So you can pick a bunch of different areas. Um, you know, show the areas that you only want to get business in. If there's areas you don't want to do business, one nine five five five. You know, let's say you don't want to get ads out there. You know, choose your specific area. These are the areas where your ads will show up. Uh, and you can do by county as well. Philadelphia county. Then go to next. Choose the services you offer. Now, I'm pretty sure he does all of these. I like to uncheck other, and those all make sense. So it's gonna populate these based on your industry. Uh, and then you need to carry relevant licenses. So depending on the type of business you are, you need to have like some sort of license or insurance. We're gonna say, what the heck, we're gonna go to other as well. Go to next. Then you need to update your hours of operation. Alrighty, updated the hours, hit next. Make sure the hours match your Google business page um, and match the hours that you actually are open for business. And then you have to choose their onboarding terms and conditions. You can click that link or learn more here. This is kind of how the ad would show up with the Google Guaranteed Badge. Then you'll go to next. And this is where it shows up at this page. Now, if you have multiple accounts that you've already submitted this for, it's just gonna be stuck here, verification in progress. So if that's the case and it's accidental, call this number and tell them what you want them to do. Uh, and really what will happen is you'll get to, let's see here, you'll have to submit next stuff, such as insurance and background check. So if I pull up this account that they went through that exact process here, you go to business verification within your dashboard and you need to update your proof of insurance and get the background check. So I'm gonna reach out to him, get the proof of insurance, upload that, and then have him, send him this link to do the background check as he'll go through a third party called Evident, and they'll run the background check and approve it. You can't have some sort of, um, you know, criminal record that's uh, bad in terms of a felony, I guess you could say. So Google's also gonna import your Google reviews, your customer reviews, right here. Uh, business not found on Google Maps. Well, all right. So they'll have to we'll have to call in about that, and then you choose your budget. Once you get through these steps, you can set a weekly or monthly budget. Then make sure your billing information is connected, and it'll also link to your Google Ads account. Um, so that's really the the main steps there. Uh, once you're in and set up and approved, here's the leads dashboard. There's a reporting dashboard as well um, for. You know, how much you're spending, you know, you can choose your date range, how many leads you got charged for, times and, and days of the week. Uh, you can see what reviews you have in your profile connected to Google My Business. You can also see your profile and budget and change that here. You can do maximize leads or uh, choose cost per bid, so on and so forth. Choose your services. You also want to upload any photos. Uh, Team photos, workspace photos, logo, action photos, things like that. You can turn on leads messaging where you'll get those to your inbox. Update hours here. A lot of different things you can do. You can see a lot of this is different from his other account. Um, so 
Lastly, we have billing. This is where you can update and change your billing. If you have any promotions, run them here. And if you want to add somebody to the account, just go to account access and add them as well. So that's really the, the process and the steps. So I'll talk to this client, <laughs> let him know what I found out. Uh, it's very different from standard Google Ads uh, that you'll see if you have a Google Ads account, uh, which his would be right here. Um, and you know, you know, you want them to coincide. So obviously this was set up incorrectly from the beginning, but I appreciate you watching. I hope this was helpful. That's the process to follow. It's pretty much very similar for most types of businesses within that industry category. Um, and if you need more help, there is an FAQ link, Google local ser service ads. Uh, where is the FAQ? Here's the support. Dun, dun, dun. Google guarantee, Google screened, how it works, more about it, the badge, info, all that stuff. So that's really the process, the setup, and how to go about it. I uh, hope this is helpful. If you have any questions, just send me a message. And once again, my name is Mac Momentum, uh, Google Ads expert, local SEO expert. So um, comment any questions or concerns below. Make sure to subscribe, hit that bell, turn on the bell for post notifications. Uh, make sure to connect with me on social media and email or call me directly if you have any questions. See you next time. Thanks for watching. Peace.